Hey guys, Miles here again, and I want to share a uh, tip with you regarding what to do with your support hand thumb when you're shooting a semi-automatic pistol. Now, this does not apply to every single semi-automatic pistol out there, but most of them, this will apply, this tip. And um, not a lot of people, I mean, people do talk about it when you go to training courses, but I don't see too much about this on the web, although it's already on the web, but uh, there's not too many videos on it. That's the placement and what this thumb does on your pistol. Now, as I mentioned, it doesn't apply to every single pistol because some pistols, you won't even have an area to put your thumb. For example, this technique that I'm gonna share with you, I don't use it with my P365 because the gun is just way too small, right? But when you have a gun that's big enough and it has a kind of a ledge or an area for your support hand thumb, right? What I recommend is you're going to actually touch the frame and if there is an area for you to put some kind of skateboard tape or stippling, do so and use that as a reminder, put your thumb on that and actually press down on the muzzle to battle muzzle flip. Okay, so on Glocks, there's kind of a little ledge that you can see where you can actually rest your thumb on top. So when that muzzle goes up for a shot, you're going to drive down with that thumb to help assist and bring that muzzle back to its zero, to the, the proper position so you can take another follow-up shot. Now there's, uh, people will, will tell you to push a little bit to, so if uh, the gun's facing here, some will say push down and to the right, okay? I don't like that, but you can experiment any way you want to. I just like pushing straight down because if I push too much and the, if I get too excited, or adrenaline's pumping, I might be pushing too far and then I'm actually, yeah, I'm going, it's gonna lead to inaccurate shots. So kind of experiment with it. But the main point is, if you have an area for your thumb, don't just kind of leave it there, okay? On the side here doing nothing, all right? I would recommend trying to rest it on here, use some skateboard tape or stippling, and really drive down, okay? Drive downwards. When that muzzle comes up, drive it back down so you get faster follow-up shots, right? And as I talked about in a previous quick tip, I like to use skateboard tape, it's really cheap, you can replace it very quickly, but stippling or any other, some kind of, some kind of grip tape will be very helpful, right? Hope you guys like it, try it out.